Hello everyone. In today's tutorial, I want to show you how you can create a water puddle material with Octane inside Cinema 4D. To follow along, you can download a sample of Puddle Maps for free, or the full pack on my Gumroad. Links are in description. First, I'm going to create the concrete material. Add a glossy material, go to the Node Editor. Right-click on the material, and convert to Sub-Material. Now if I go back to my material, I can delete the first one, and apply the sub-material to the mesh here. Now go to the node editor and bring the diffuse, roughness, and normal of the concrete material. Apply every texture into the right channel here on the submaterial. Let's add a UV transform to the diffuse to modify the scale. Link this node to the roughness and normal. Jump in here and scale this down. Go here on your master material, drag the material to, and add a new sub-material which will be our wet material. Here on the material 2 mask we can add a float texture. So if I put 0, I have this concrete material. And if I go to 1, I have the wet material. Now let's focus on the wet map. So we need to plug the diffuse map of our concrete material, and we don't need the roughness or normal. So take the diffuse here, and plug it here. To introduce some puddles, let's grab one of the textures I provided, and replace the float texture node. Add a UV transform node and right-click on it, solo node. Now we can decrease the size. We can now blend this with another map, so add a Mix Texture node and a new map. Select Mix here and drag it here. We don't want the first map on the amount, but on texture 1. Bring the second map and plug it to texture 2. Now we can add a transform node and decrease the size. Here, instead of a 50% blend, we want to mix between these two with a noise. Grab an octane noise and plug it to the amount. Solo the node, crank up the contrast, add details by upping the octaves and omega. Unsolo the noise and I'm just going to add a color correction to the concrete here to make it darker so we see the puddles better. These cracks here should be indented. So we have to invert these two textures. Select them and check the invert box here. It's way better like that.
Now to finish this up, let's pipe this all mix in the bump channels. To have more control about the power of the bump, we can add a multiply node to both of the bumps and plug a float texture to the texture 2 slot. Now you can increase or decrease the bump effect. So that's it. Now you know how to make water puddles with Octane. Don't forget to take a look at my Gumroad page to grab the full puddle pack. See you in my next video.